I really want to tell you my planned uh, desired outcome uh, of this meeting. Um, I, I really hope that we can have some good dialogue because I believe that, as I was just discussing a minute ago, it's an uphill battle. Um, in Clay County, Clay County is known for their turnout. We typically have a higher turnout than the statewide average. Uh, however, while we enjoy turnouts as high as 87%, on average, upper 70s uh, to 80s for the presidential or the big one, as people say, uh, your presidential general elections, gubernatorial is a different matter. Uh, municipal is a different matter. Uh, we'll, we tend to have somewhere in the neighborhood of, of 17 to 35 percent. As a matter of fact, the highest uh, off-year election that we've had is a 50 percent turnout. So immediately, immediately, whether it's 82 percent or whether it's as high as maybe a 50 percent turnout or a 17 percent turnout, immediately my question my focus is always towards where the 18% were. You know, where the 83% were. That is where my focus. Because the truth of the matter is, is for a countywide election, it costs roughly about a quarter of a million dollars. And if you, the taxpayer, we are spending a quarter of a million dollars on a, an election, I would hope that we would want a return on our investment. And the only way that we're going to be able to do that is to impress upon our brothers and sisters, impress upon our, our friends, our family, our neighbors, on the importance to get engaged. You know, the, one of my, my first thoughts when I became elected supervisor, now keep in mind, I was already 10 years in the, in the office, 10 years in the office before I was elected. And I was thinking about, you know, registration is the first step to participation. You have to be registered to vote to get engaged into the process. Um, but the, it doesn't just end there. It's, it's not a checkbox that you check off. It's a beginning. And I think it's incumbent upon us to, to have that, that discussion that it is important, it is worthwhile for you to get engaged into the, to the process. So before I begin, you know, the Elections Assistance Commission, which the EAC is a wonderful and valuable commission that was created. I know for many, many years it seemed like the EAC was languishing but I want you to know that the EAC supports supervisors of elections in the elections process and joins <coughs> with so many others. Now that's the Elections Assistance Commission, joins with FBAP, the, the Federal Voting Assistance Program. That's of course where our military and overseas citizens get assistance in making sure that they stay engaged into the process. But of course, I've been working with EAC and the Department of Homeland Security since the 2016 election. And the EAC came out with this video. Its focus is on election security, but more importantly, it kind of talks about the voting process. Um, there have been times, and Mr. Poole, we were just having some dialogue a minute ago about having a meeting. Here's what I would like to see. Why don't you hold a joint meeting at our office? And why don't you take the opportunity to come through because you all are involved in the process, but you're involved in a totally different spectrum than we are. Um, it's, you're involved with, you know, people go to the polls and they get their ballot and, they, and, and you may even be, you know, back in the day, not so much now, but back in the day we used to always have poll watchers and poll watchers were, were their, their main focus was to make sure that we're adhering to the process, and then of course, get out the vote, okay? But now, because I've seen that, that get out the vote is so important, that 
I release those files on an hourly basis during the election process and on election day and early voting to where you can see the turnout and you can see who has voted and you can see who has not voted, more importantly, so you can get your get out the vote efforts and get more accurate data than having to listen to that election worker making sure that they call out the name properly and you heard it correctly and so you're checking it off your list. So we actually publish that data for you and it's much more pristine. But I think that it would be valuable for you to come and take a look at the process and see the, the voting process that we'll talk about today. So what I'd like to do